Hey all of you, welcome back once again and we got an amazing response in this particular project and a lot of you have requested me to make a deployment video. So a lot of you have encountered when you try to deploy this particular project. So in this video, I'll show you that how you can deploy this liquidity marketplace in two platforms. We're going to deploy to the Netlify and we're going to deploy to Vercel. So you can pick any platform and that's what we're going to do it. So this is what we have coded in the project. So if I open this one. This is the complete source code that what we have coded and this is the startup file. So if you haven't built the project, I would suggest you to simply come back here and get the startup file, get the startup file and start building and following the project. But I already have it. So I'm going to simply deploy it. So you can see this is what exactly you will get in the final source code if you take. So first thing you have to do is to open up your terminal and you have to install the packages. So here I'm using all of these packages. You don't need to make any changes because I have done all the customization, all the modification as per the packages. So all I have to do is to simply type npm i and install all the packages. So sorry, my bad. Let me cut this, stop this one. And first I have to get into this particular folder liquidity. So let me copy this rename and copy. I'll come here, type cd and paste enter. So I'm into this particular folder. Now I have to install the packages. I'll type npm i and hit enter so if i do that it's going to install all the required dependency which we need to work on this particular project so just wait the installation will complete very soon and once we have that packages in our project then we can simply start the application so just wait it's taking a little bit time and finally the installation is completed now all you have to do is all you have to do is to simply clear your terminal so this is what i have right now i'm not having an issue so if i try to run it it will work absolutely fine. So let me come back and let me show you the changes you have to do because running code in your development in your local machine is a different thing, but deploying is a totally different thing. So if I come back here, if I go to the global CSS, so here you have to make a little bit changes. So right now you can see this is the CSS class which I'm taking. And earlier I had something like, like this is one, 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 one on a huge, huge number. So if you deploy like this, it will work absolutely fine in the in the local system so let me show you if i start the application type npm run dev there is no problem you can easily able to use this value and check everything so if i come back to my is going to create a problem so this will create a problem so make sure to change this to just a small number so the in development it's can identify that this is what the value is and you have to do the same thing for the loader because we have to change that so this is the one change you have to do. And there's one more change we have to do. Come back in the context and come back to the index. And here I have noticed that I use the small u. But it will work fine in the local system in your development. But when you will deploy, it's going to throw an error. So make sure to make it capital. And that's going to fix the problem. So this is the two change you have to do. In the final source code, I will already do all these changes. So don't need to worry about that. So now all set. We can see that I have all of the project. If I go to the repository section, we have all of the startup files. So you guys can simply download and start following the project. So click on this new and here you have to simply create your profile. So I'll call it QUID ITL liquidity. So this is what I'm giving. You can give whatever name you are. I'm going to make it private and I'm going to click on this create repository. Just wait. And here I got it. Now I have to come back to my code. Let's open up my terminal and I'm going to simply clear it up. So here I am into the same folder. Now I have to simply initialize my get in this particular directory. So make sure you have to be into this liquidity. So I'll type get in it, then type get add dot hit enter. It's going to add all that. Now all you have to do is to simply come back here and simply copy this portion. And you have to simply come here, paste and hit enter. It's going to deploy the entire code to our GitHub repository. So here. The entire deployment is completed. Now come back here, reload the page. And here we have that. So here we have the entire piece of code, which we're going to deploy it. Okay, so far things are good. Again, I would suggest you to follow the complete project that will teach you real DeFi development. So this is the step is done. Now we have to deploy to our providers. So we're going to use Netlify and Versal. So first let's start with the Netlify. So make sure to create your account. You can see I have already done a lot of deployment, a lot of project is already here. That's all you can able to find. So first thing you have to do, make sure to create an account and come back here in your team overview. And you have to click on this add new site. And here you will have a multiple option, a GitHub repository, template and manual deployment. So I'm going to go with this one, import an existing project. 
and here you will have a multiple option which you can pick but i will go with this getup because there we have the code and make sure to do the authentication make sure to allow this netlify to have access to your code so when you will do for the very first time it's going to ask you for okay okay so simply confirm that and it's going to fix that so now i have to search for the repository so i'll come back here and i'm going to simply copy the name this is the name i have given come back here and i'm going to simply paste it and it's going to filter out and find me the project so let me simply remove this one avatar and now it's going to find it so right now it says there is no repository what i'm going to simply cut it and i'm going to simply paste it just a moment it's going to find me my repository and there it is so this is the one no not this one here we have it so one minute ago this is the one we have created so i'll click on this liquidity marketplace and here you can see we have all of this and if you have an environment variable that you can add very easily you can see what command we are running from here you can add the environment variable but in our case we don't have that so simply click on this deploy liquidity marketplace and it's going to start the deployment process this will take close to five minutes sometime depending on the code how heavy your code is and it's going to simply deploy so just come back here go to the site configuration and from here you can easily able to manage and do all the things so if you want to change the url of your of your application you can definitely do that right now you can see i'm getting this particular url but i can change that so i can come back here and i have to click on the site and i will say let's say liquidity liquidity dollar you can call it whatever you want and you click on the save and it's going to change the url so right now you will get a new url called liquidity dollar and if you come back to the site overview here you will have the details so it says that site has not been yet deployed so just wait the site is deploying it will take a few minutes depending on the code so our code is little heavy we have a couple of dependencies so just wait soon as the installation will complete and you will get the url and you can click and you can check and start doing the transaction and here you can see finally we have successfully deployed our application if you want to change the domain you can do all the setups but i'm not going to do that so click on this i have tons of projects which i already i have deployed so make sure to create your account and connect with github repository once you have you will have a similar dashboard so come back here in the add new go to the projects and here you will have an option you will have all your github repository right up here so you can see this is the one which i have created five minutes ago and that's what i'm going to simply deploy to virtual so click on this import and you can call it whatever you want i'm going to call this liquidity marketplace and don't need to do any changes if you have environment variable you can add that but in our case we don't need to do anything so click on this deploy and it's going to do the deployment so just wait the deployments are happening it will take few seconds here it's running the deployment it's building command and it will take a little bit time so just wait and finally our application is deployed and you will have a similar interface similar congratulation now you, all you have to do is come back here in the dashboard and you have to come back in the development and there you will find the projects so let's come back to the project section and if you go to click here in the dollar and here you will find that so simply come back here and go to the settings and here you will find all the control over this application so now you can do one thing you can come back to the general and here you will have the application so if i go back to the environment variables you can able to control the environment variable from here if you go to the domain you can able to control the domain you can see everything is controlled here and you can come back here in the development click here and you can simply visit that like we have tons of project like this is the one which i have just now uploaded in the morning airdrop like this is on is the like certificate selling for digital assets, Solana, XI scan, liquidity, DeFi, chatbot, Facebook clone of Web3, token marketplace, ICO. This is the project we have for the SaaS, like creating token, Uniswap, Web3, chat, GTP. We have the AI auditor, staking, MetaMask. We have the small MetaMask. We have the API startup digital market agency real estate dab api technology e-commerce this is the also a monk project we have this is the our we have a portfolio uniswap etherscan chat web3 chat application decentralized voting system portfolio nft marketplace like crowdfunding supply chain management this is the ico so there is tons of project we have i want you to come and follow 
try to do the search and pick your project and start building the moment you start building it will help you a lot to learn things faster so come back to the come back here to the channel and you can able to go to the playlist pick a project and start building because the moment you will start building the more you will learn if you watch the video and you will try to learn it's not going to help you so you start building in that way you will build your portfolio and it will help you to understand the thing and if you want to take your blockchain development career to the next level you can check this particular course which i have launched here like this will teach you every single thing which you have to know to become a blockchain developer like we have complete course on solidity programming language then we have the necessary environment set up for the project development in web3 then we're going to build one of the biggest project like nft marketplace with multiple feature like bidding community friends there is tons of thing and we're going to have some crash courses on html css react telvin hard at metamask web3 provider so these are the important things which you have to know so that's the only thing i want to talk about it i, I believe that you guys know how to create it and how to do that so it looks pretty good to me everything is working absolutely fine and with that i'm ending this video have a wonderful day bye bye